Hey, Twitter world. Don't pet the llama. A pan-gender octopus who roams the cosmos in search of love. I'm never going to look at butt plugs the same. Apparently, ducks are rapists. I'm really uncomfortable with this conversation. <laughs> so, uh, Nick, uh, Drop Anchor is uh, no more? Yeah, no, it, uh, I wasn't really married. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> no, I wasn't really married to that whole drop anchor um, name or like the idea of it. I liked it because it had to do with the patch industry, as I like to call it. Yeah, the morale patch, black market, and the under, uh, the underground and classifieds. So basically, when people do drops, that's what we call releasing a patch. Yeah, I remember you saying that. Yeah. yeah okay. So um, I kind of like that. I kind of like the whole nautical theme for everything like i'm all about nautical stuff even well, though we were, i was uh, we were talking about it yeah. earlier but you weren't in the navy so yeah even though i wasn't in the navy i was in the army um <laughs> but no i've always kind of liked that whole idea of krakens and old ships and pirates and stuff but yeah. um it just wasn't it wasn't are you grabbing. gonna get like a, a pirate ship on your nope, chest i'm like, good <laughs> food tattoo, like all the no it just didn't get. grab me enough to uh to try to keep to keep it afloat yeah. i basically started it because i had one cool design and a bunch of ideas and uh it just didn't happen it just wasn't going anywhere so decided to cut that back and now i'm going with something a little more grabby if you will um mm -hmm. something a little more <laughs> in depth yeah right? uh, even your re reaction to it first was like oh all right oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> like grabby <laughs> oh yeah no. oh, it's <laughs> like uh what's his name the old dude that oh goes after him Little children. Are you talking about grabbing by the pussy? No. <laughs> yeah, my, my patch Biden. company doesn't do that. There we go. Um, you talking about Weinstein? Biden. 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 Oh, oh, Grandpa. Grandpa <laughs> Biden. Yeah. Talking about Joe. Sleepy Joe. Yeah. Creepy Joe. Creepy <laughs> Joe. Joe. Uh, did you see the? There was one video where he was talking like not towards the camera. He was like talking at the people that obviously paid like ten dollars to like be in their seats. Like he's like talking. He's like, I don't even know who I'm talking to. Yeah, <laughs> no, he's a turd. <laughs> They're all fucking turds. <laughs> it's 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 quite Pol interesting. Politics suck. It makes me laugh like just a little yeah. bit because it's like you're not like I understand that you have different points than what you know Trump has. But you're not very representing them very well. No, not like, at all. Like, yeah. I mean, some of them I can I can understand and I can sympathize with, but your like um, uh, execution of it is yeah. off. Execution. That's a good word for politicians. <laughs> <laughs> Should go hand in hand if hey you think about it. Hey, <laughs> hey. Oh. <laughs> okay. So you haven't been on the podcast since we set that up. So that little damn thing. Uh, yeah. Have you ever seen the? It's like my what? Eight hundred pound live, six hundred pound live. What's the weight what limit? There's, the... there's probably both. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like my the XXL life. version yeah. of it. <laughs> um, but there's this one video where it's. Uh, it's three, I think they're family members or like one husband, wife, and like sister or something. And they all go into the doctor and they're like huge. Like, like Texas, everything's bigger yeah. in Texas. Like huge <laughs> as fuck. And they go in and like he weighs at like 450. Like sh the, the sister weighs, uh, you know, 500, something like yeah. that. And she's like 800 something pounds. And his first reaction is, damn <laughs> and so i tried to like pick that apart and yeah. like figure it out and like put it on i couldn't so i had to just basically say my voice and i'm not black so i can't i don't have that deep like you know so i had to like <laughs> deep, take deep. it down a couple deep like, voice, like. <laughs> exactly i don't know about like michael clark duncan fucking <laughs> green mile shit but like i uh so i had to take and put a pitch shifter on it and like pitch it down like yeah. two octaves so that's dope that's dope <laughs> I like it yes okay so where did we just veer off He's you talking were in about the middle of talking yeah so yeah addicted. grabby going back to grabby um <laughs> that makes no sense. I decided to go with uh I've always liked the term and it's it's kind of more popular maybe in the military community but mm -hmm. um being uh, the quote is I'm comfortable with violence okay and which is funny because that's what I immediately go to when I think of because it's a new company and I know you just started it so yeah. immediately when I think of your new thing I'm like comfortable with violence yeah and then it's actually comfortably violent comfortably violent yeah okay. I, I dig it because that that term um, 
means a lot to me because yeah. you can't you can't really skate through life anymore without encountering some sort of violence. It's just not possible. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's road rage on the freeway or, uh, <laughs> you know, yeah, or you're being a server and someone's being an asshole to you. Mm -hmm. So um, it's pretty much everywhere, right? Yep. So... Well, I, there's I, verbal violence too. There's verbal violence. I don't yep. know if you know that now. No, nope, there is. Yep, I'm tracking that. You're, there's, <laughs> oh, that's right. You're going yeah. through some shit. We'll yeah, no, there's it, there's verbal violence. Um, just everyone is is uh, hurt about everything now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm hoping maybe by kind of putting out the whole comfortably violent thing, it makes everyone just kind of sit back and be like, oh, maybe I should not be such a pussy. It also kind of learn how to be it, comfortable with this. It also kind of takes it as like. Uh, there's art, like, that's that shock value. Like, uh, you already put out that first initial, like, people are like, oh, shit. Yeah. And then you're like, okay, cool, now I already know what the initial react the initial thing that I saw was. Right. So I'm already at this point. So anything that you have in there, like, you don't really have, like, the shock value is already gone, so you can kind of kind of do what you want. Right. Almost, which yeah, there's, cool. a, there's another term that kind of was in the back of my mind as I was doing this whole thing of... Um, was it shit seeds? Nope. I think it, <laughs> that's still mine. I like that. Um, We're making a shit. I'm not even going to try to quote the, the... I'm not even going to try to tell you who the actual um, philanthropist was, um, but... Did you the, just say prancerpist? No, like, was philanthropist. That, is that his philanthropist? Philanthropist? Yeah, philanthropist? I just thought you were talking about, like, the reindeer. Like, no. you know, Christmas. <laughs> philanthropist. No, it, uh, it might be, it might be Plato. Uh, it might be someone else. Um, but one of those weird Romans that, Yeah, you know, one of those guys. Dudes. But the term is, if you wish for peace, prepare for war. And if you think about that, that also True. kind of breaks down into the, well... If I want peace, I better be comfortable with fucking war. I better be comfortable with violence because that's when we're going to get the true peace. And especially because human nature, you see someone's weakness, you see someone not, uh, you think they might not be ready because they're, you know, peaceful. Right. Then you're opening yourself up. Correct. Just human nature. Yep. You know. Yeah, and, and human nature is big with it because it's not just a military-oriented idea or brand. It's everything. I mean, fucking video games. Video games are violent. You know, um, <laughs> like I was saying, yeah, with drive. I, I mean, everything has a, a tone of violence nowadays. Grand Theft um, Auto, play that for fucking yeah, exactly. ten Try minutes. Try not to be comfortable doing that. Um, Within ten minutes, you are going to be <laughs> taking a cop out of the fucking car, shooting him in the head, taking a prostitute, and taking the money back. Like it, you're going to be doing. Some it happens things. a lot. <laughs> uh, you might as well get comfortable with that, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Which I think is funny because there's so much already out there that when. When people get offended by certain things, it's like you you realize that this has always been the way it is, and yeah. no one has taken like no one's been pissed off about it. No one's been outraged by it. It's just you because you're behind a fucking keyboard, yeah, and you can just say whatever you want, and yep. there's no repercussion immediately. Exactly, except Not for the people yeah. that are actually doing it as a joke. You know what I mean? Or right. actually doing it just not, you know, maliciously. Yeah. But no, there's there's no maliciousness at all in this company. This company is all about being, you know, being comfortable and being able to defend your family and yourself. And Yeah, exactly. All right. So as I was kind of getting back to it now, um, uh, the big draw that I had to this whole idea of comfortable with violence is being able to stay cool under pressure as well. Yeah. Awesome. Um, being able to not rush a situation. Um and kind of look at it from a bigger picture. Because if you already know it and you're already comfortable with it, yeah, then you're exactly. not going to have that initial, you know, brash fight or flight reaction. Right. You're when just you're just like, oh fight. shit, what's you're going just on? Fight. Yeah. You just you know, know what you're, you're going to do. Set and you're ready. So uh, the the biggest draw, I guess you could say, was my idea is if someone kicks down my door in the middle of the night mm -hmm. to come try to kill myself or my family. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be comfy as fuck, bro, because I know exactly what I'm going to do. Yeah. I'm not going to freak out. I know my step-by-step -step plan. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, it, it's it's fine that way. And that's that's really the biggest way that I'm trying to come across as is as everyone's got to just be comfortable with violence because it fucking happens. Yeah. Not necessarily someone kicking your door down, but eventually you're going to get in a verbal altercation with someone, mm -hmm. maybe at the mall, maybe yeah. at a restaurant, maybe at a park. But you need to keep calm under pressure and just stay cool with it. Keep a level head. And if you're friends um, with me, yeah. you probably want to be exactly. with violence. I'm <laughs> it's jackass, not just violence in that type of mouth. violence, but everything from, like, fucking music. There's music out there that's fucking violent, right? 
Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know the best. <laughs> <laughs> What's a mosh pit? A mosh yeah. pit is fucking fist. The funny thing about that is, 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 but someone gets knocked down, everyone picks them right back up. up. It's, yeah. it's like a family it's a culture. thing. Like, it's a subculture it's of family. Not as, it's a mosh pit. I don't think it's family. as uh, family oriented as it was before, though. Yeah. No. Uh, well. Yes and no, and I mean, I honestly think that's that why the, I won't even go near one of those. Well, anymore. honestly, it's. Well, yeah, because of the hardcore dancing and, you know, like, well, you know, yeah. mosh, you know. Flailing your arms yeah, around exactly. like a chicken and I'm not, head cut off. I'm not going to say that I have a two-step plenty. <laughs> I'm sorry. It fist. looks ridiculous. <laughs> like King Kong is. Yeah. No, it is ridiculous, but I, it's I've definitely two-stepped a little bit in my day. <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah, no, it is a little different. But at the same time, like. If someone gets knocked down, they're still gonna, you know, pick yeah. them up. It's, it's like Absolutely. we're doing this all together at the same yeah. time. Like, it's in agreements. That's why I hate when someone's like, "Dude, you punched my girlfriend in the pit." The fuck was she doing in the pit? <laughs> Get her away Just from me. Trying to have fun. Her. Yeah. It... <laughs> Just running around in a circle to get exercise. Yeah. Oh, that was a fart. Yeah. Yes. I I meant to hit the the fail. I don't know if that's better or what. A fart fail. <laughs> it literally was both. <laughs> okay. So, um... Must be that every situation you're going to have dumb people, so you have to prepare yourself mentally and physically for... Exactly. ...the idiots of yep. the world. That's really what yep. it is. That's why yeah. you have to be comfortable, um, you know, with yourself being able to handle a situation. Yeah. Because you just... You have to be prepared for the unknown. Right. And if you're so not the comfortable the way to enough, start that... Yeah. is by be comfortable with calling someone an asshole, right. calling someone a cunt. Because yeah. there's this, a big difference. Uh, yeah, there, there is, but men and women can be assholes. Men and women can, can be, be cunts. cunts. Yeah, I get it. And if it's a man, you want to say it more into like an English cunt. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you want to say it more because then it makes more sense. But like you, if you're comfortable with saying that, then you'll. it's that next level of being comfortable. Like when you're in traffic and someone's right. being an asshole. Yeah. Fuck you, asshole. I don't know. That's just my. Or point. just be calm and just keep driving because you can't do anything about it. Uh -huh. <laughs> Me and you are two different. Things. No, we're not, man. Because I am. I'm on that same train, but lately I've just been like, all right, you know what? Fuck you, you piece of shit. You cut me off. I can't do anything about it. Weekend? What am I gonna fucking do about it? I'm not gonna pull you out of your car. Uh, See, I tell him the same yeah. things. I'm like, what are you gonna like do? That, what are you I gonna really do? I have. I used to be like that a lot, and now driving. To San Clemente every Ugh. fucking day, down the 15 to the 76 to the 5. Jesus. Bro, that's rough, man. Yeah. And now I'm like, the first oh, maybe two is weeks. Is that the, taking that over the Ortega? No, I don't take the Ortega. <laughs> yeah, no, that's there's, a bad idea. That's well, just because, like, the Ortega, that's dangerous. the Ortega is great because it's like a straight shot, essentially, to where I work. But one asshole can fuck it up for everyone for hours and hours and hours and you can be up there with no fucking signal at all mm. so i don't take the ortega unless i'm going home yeah because it's just a single lane yeah it's yeah, yeah. so uh, what i'm talking about down going down south of 15 oh. i will I, oh. the first week yeah down you, south yeah. oh my gosh yeah 76 down there that's what i was trying to think 76 to five up here north. It's rough. Ugh. The first two weeks, I was fucking flipping people off, flashing my lights, getting all pissed off. And now I'm like, what, maybe three or four months into it, and I just fucking put my shit on cruise control and put on a fucking... <laughs> I listen to Yahoo Finance on the way to work now. Oh, my God. <laughs> I've turned into my dad, man. Uh, hey, at, least yeah. the, at, least, at least the 76 has expanded, because that used to always be a one-lane road, yep. too. No, it has. It's a lot nicer now, definitely. It's but not bad. you got to drive south Still. to drive west to drive north. to drive north. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I couldn't. I'm I driving couldn't. 30 miles around my work, and if they would just fucking put a road over, <laughs> yeah, I could get there. I could get there in 10 minutes. You just man. need to Bill Burr style and fucking. I will. Had a helicopter yeah. out. I'll just have him come pick yeah. me up. <laughs> hey, hey, Bill. Um, so with that. All the comfortably violent stuff. Right. I don't know if, was it? I know we. Yeah, no. I mean, I'm done but, talking about it. Really, it's yeah. just besides the fact I'm being kind of shadow banned, low key on Instagram. That's what I was gonna ask you. Oh uh, what? yeah, what's going on? Yes. Yeah. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If we float your boat, make sure to subscribe here. For more awesomeness in your ear holes, click one of these videos here. You just gotta follow the red arrow and poke it. Poke it real good. You're supposed to poke the video, not me, babe. I was. <laughs>